party? Yes. Okay. okay. Hi, guys. So, I have a question for you to start it all off. Does anyone get hurt or sick a lot? Or am I like the only weird one? Cool. <laughs> so, that's what my presentation is about today, is personalizing your first aid kit, because personally me, hurt, sick, all the freaking time. So, um, although you might not need it every single day, it is still important to have around, just because those cases where you do need it. And now I'm going to go into the transition of talking about the history of it, because everything has a little bit of history. It all started with a conversation between Johnson & Johnson, also the creation of this, and some guy, you know, he was a railroad surgeon, and he just brought to the attention that it was important to have supplies, like medical supplies, because it was such a dangerous job on site. And so that's basically what creation of it happened. Um, also, I'm going to start talking about the basic needs for it. Every first aid kit, I mean, every single one, you buy it, you make it, it is going to have alcohol pads because it's healthy for your boo Different size band aids, which is, yes, <laughs> you can get it at Walgreens or any drugstore. Also, I think it's important personally for me, I always get hurt, to have Advil or ibuprofen. And if you are sick again a lot, I have asthma, so I have to have an inhaler. I'm also allergic to peanuts, so I have to have an EpiPen around everywhere I go. Gauze to cover the cuts, anything. And for me, my box is all messed up because it was on sale. But <laughs> this is allergy pills that I need every single day or else I die a little bit. So I'm going to now transition into an example where I personally needed my first or I would need my first aid kit. Again, so I'm going to peanuts. If I am ever to eat it or am exposed to it, I would have to use an EpiPen. So in case you guys have to do the same thing, I'm going to show you how to do it. So first you would pop off this blue thing and you literally just pull it up and then you would stab it into the person's side right here. This is like the part where it kind of gets a little iffy. You're supposed to wait a little bit, like you call 911, but you're supposed to wait if you're feeling better. And if you're not feeling any better, then you have to do another dose. And just pray that you don't die. <laughs> That's all you can really do at that point. That's how you use an EpiPen. And then now I'm going to talk about the importance of it, because I don't think I mentioned that yet. The importance of having a first aid kit is it can honestly help you in so many ways. Doing like getting hurt and minor injury at home and being able to treat it at home is can go a long way because if you don't treat it at home, then you can it can get worse. And it's just more convenient. You don't want to pay for a hospital bill to pay for a band-aid when you just simply do it at home. Um, so I'm gonna go over what I did. Um, and so obviously I talked about the necessities of what you should have in your personal for a kit. I think I really keep that I got Target. You guys should invest in anyone. I also I talked about how there should be alcohol pads, band aids, any prescribed medicine that you should need. I also went over how to use medicine just in case of an emergency for me and why I need my first aid kit. And that is what I went over today. <laughs>